As soon as January, millions of Americans might have to start using their passports to fly because their state-issued IDs don't meet federal qualifications. A decade ago, the government issued stricter standards, a law called the Real ID Act. Four states, Louisiana, Minnesota, New Hampshire, and New York, refused to comply. If those four states don't upgrade their system, the TSA will require that people from those states use a passport to get on a plane. It was truly the dog days at the State House when a dog named Tilly was named Washingtonian of the Day by Washington Governor Jay Inslee. The award recognizing Tilly's courage and loyalty in standing guard to protect another dog who had fallen into a cistern and could not climb out. Tilly managing her post for more than a week, refusing to abandon her companion until the two animals were found one week after they had disappeared. They're magically delicious. General Mills says it will produce just 10 boxes of all marshmallow Lucky Charm cereal. But you have to win a contest in order to get your hands on it. Those interested in a box must post a photo of themselves to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with an imaginary box of Lucky Charms using the hashtag Lucky10Sweepstakes. One 94-year-old in Florida is taking fitness to a new level. Edith Prana recently started a new hobby, powerlifting. It all started after her friend convinced her to go to the gym and get involved in the sport. Now, three years later, she has competed in more than a dozen competitions, even though she says she is the only one in her age group. A Pennsylvania teenager who is fighting cancer got himself a very special date for homecoming, Miss New Jersey. The high school senior excelled in football and basketball until a cancer diagnosis in April. With homecoming approaching, the senior wanted to make a splash, so he went out on a limb inviting Miss New Jersey, Lindsay Gianni, to the dance. Hearing of his story, Gianni couldn't turn him down. Battling cancer at such a young age and being a two-sport athlete, I really just wanted to make his homecoming special to him. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.